This video will demonstrate the basic setup for installing Linux native Reaper on Ubuntu 14.04. I'm actually using Mint 17.3. Here's the web page where the download link is located, right here. And we need two files. You need library swell and the Reaper 529, whatever, whatever the latest version is. So I've already got a folder on the desktop for this demonstration. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And we'll save that there. And also we need the Reaper, which is this one right here. We'll save that in there too. Then we'll go to the folder and unzip those two files. And we'll do the same for this one. And we'll extract it. Now we need to copy library swell and place it in where the executable is for Reaper. So let's go ahead and copy it. We'll go in here. There's the Reaper file, I mean the folder. And this is where you need that library swell right here. Okay, so if everything goes according to plan, let's look at the properties. So it already has executable permission, permissions. Let's go ahead and do so. Execute. There we have it. Now it's a Jack Aware application. So it shows up right here. In the Jack Audio Connection Bay, I'm using Katia from KX Studio. Let's go inside the settings here a bit. So I have one input channel, one output channel. You can set that however you like. So you have Jack or Dummy. That's the only two options on this version of Reaper for Linux. Still in the beta process. And on MIDI devices, I've enabled one MIDI output. There are quite a few plugins already located in Reaper. Let's uh, take a look at the input that we have. So we just have that mono input. We have armed the track. So let's go ahead, get rid of this, and we'll start again. Let's insert new track. Select the input. All right, there's fine. So we'll arm it. And I'm going to monitor the input. And we're going to go right here. And we're going to set up just a quick demonstration on a sine wave synthesizer. First, we're going to use Regate to perform an audio to MIDI function. And I'm just going to set this up with the normal settings I use. I'm going to hold it for 15 milliseconds or so. And we're going to filter it. I have a tone generator coming in the mic jack. I'm going to put a MIDI note, 77. We're going to add a synthesizer, resynth, right here. And we're going to set the rise and fall time of the edges to, let's say, 5. The attack and release. Five, there we go. And then let's go back. We've turned on the MIDI note. Now we need to hook up an incoming tone. We're going to take an incoming tone, convert it to another tone. With just the native plugins that already come in Reaper. So let's see if we can hear what it sounds like already. 
let's bring Reaper back. Let's see. So it's kind of rough. Now let's see what it sounds like without the MIDI note being sent. So that's the original tone coming in the mic check. Now we're going to set the threshold so it just reaches the top. So only when it gets past this peak will it activate this MIDI note. And over here in the output mix, we're going to take the wet down all the way. And that's pretty good right there. So let's see what that note sounds like. Much better. So that's just a basic sine wave synthesizer using audio to MIDI functions on this Reaper plugin called Regate followed by a MIDI note instruction to send a note at a MIDI note 77, which is close to 700 hertz, by the Reaper plugin, Resynth. And I've adjusted the rise, the attack, and the fall, the release, to 5 millisecond edges. And let's see if we can take a look at that. Let's go to the LV2 plugins and look at the scope. Do a simple scope here. Uh, let's do a stereo scope. And you can see the original tone. And we'll set this to no trigger level. Now let's set it up. So we're going to take the original tone from the mic jack to channel 1, and the output of Reaper to channel 2. Now let's take a look. And there it is. Let's open it up a little bit. So you can see that the original wave is basically half of a waveform, just a very harsh square wave, which is converted to a sine wave synth synthesized uh, tone with a rise and fall time of about 5 milliseconds. Another good function is if you have any mechanical switching, see that gap at the top? That's, de that's a bouncing on the switch contacts, which is a common phenomenon. And because of the setting in Reaper, once again, and Regate, of this hold time of 15 milliseconds that takes care of that switch bouncing. So this acts as an audio to MIDI converter, audio to MIDI note converter, audio in with a volume threshold set by this VU on the left, the Regate VU. And the hold time performs debouncing. It does a very effective, as you saw. It took that gap and uh, kept it from distorting the output wave from form from the synthesizer. Anyway, that's the basic install for getting Reaper, the Linux native Reaper, on your Linux operating system. In this case, we're using Ubuntu 14.04. It looks like it's been upgraded recently since November. So it should work with uh, even modern versions, perhaps 16.04. And this is made for Debian Stretch, but it works just fine on this Linux Mint 17. Thanks for watching.